Hello, ladies and germs, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. We're back in the Maktar Nebula, and there is an excuse for why I'm doing this instead of a stream. Um, my internet recently, like super recently, has been very much so not agreeable, so we're gonna do some, uh, I think there's gonna be two. Uh, what's today? 17th. There's gonna be a handful of videos between now and... I think Christmas, maybe? No. The day before Christmas. Um, now to the 24th. That are gonna be, instead of streaming, because I don't know if I can, I'm going to be trying to do, um... Forgot to get ammo. I'm going to be doing uh, some pre-recorded footage. For all of the sake of Batman. Um, uh, geez, what is going on? Whatever. So... Because we're going to be doing um, some pre-recorded footage, I figured I would um, let you, some of you guys who might like the games or what have you uh, know maybe a few things about some games I'm hoping to do. Because um, I... I I know I I say I hope to do some things quite a lot, but I can't always do them. But um I'm hoping that I can um get as many things done as possible bef I'm hoping before Christmas. So I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to try and finish Dark Souls 3, our Berserk run. And I, m I might do, if I have enough people who are interested, I might do some more Diablo 3 stuff. And the reason for that practically being, uh, it, it appears that I seem to have an audience for a bunch of weird crap that I do. One of which being, I did uh, Killing Floor 2, that didn't go well, obviously, seeing as I haven't done it since. Um, I also have uh, my Diablo 3 stream that I did a few days ago, and I have uh, another one that I think I tried to do. And... Uh, so I'm going to be trying to finish as many as I can, as much stuff as I can get. Uh, I don't know if I'll actually complete all of it, or most of it for that matter. But I am bloody well going to try. I don't remember if I did this yet or not, so fling him up there anyway. I did. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm not sure uh, when I will be able to finish the streams because of the uh, technical issues, but when I can, I will, and then um, after that, I will try and start up a few new things, depending on what I what happens for Christmas and uh, there will be some good stuff there should be another video before Christmas happens but again I'm not sure when this will get uploaded I'm not sure when I'll be able to do my next stream so um, as of right now I'd like to say that there might not guaranteed, but there might be a little bit of a Christmas hiatus because of the whole, you know, technical issues and stuff. So, 
if I can figure that out before, there will be more streams, possibly souls. If not, there will be something else. But, uh, be as many streams as I can. I'll try and get a lot of sh as much streaming as, as I can done before the, uh, fix happens. The, uh, fix for the issue. And then after, uh, I'll probably be doing a bunch of just random streams to do tests and... <laughs> Sorry about that. And make sure that it it is all working properly. And if the answer is yes, well, obviously there's going to be a lot more streaming. And there's going to be, uh... Some other stuff that I can try and do... There we go. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. I'm gonna try and get the fix first, and then once I get the fix, I will do more streams. Until then, I might have, uh, a few more of these. I don't know if we'll finish Ratchet & Clank by the end of the year, though, because, again, not sure when I'll be able to upload these. But if I can upload them frequently enough, then I will definitely try and finish the game. Maybe not the series, but the game. Because this series is kind of long. I didn't mean that. I didn't do it on purpose, I swear. But, uh, yeah, this series is relatively long. So we are going to have quite a few uh, games in the series. Because I think I announced it when I announced the series. And by announced the series, I mean started the first one. Um... We are going to be doing it. Hopefully, all of the Ratchet and Clank games, maybe even the remake, if we have enough people who watch uh, one to f the game before the remake into the Nexus, because they're not <clears throat> they're not like the quickest finishing games. Like they they are relatively long. They're action adventure games after all, and those aren't usually super short unless it's Dark Souls and you're a particularly good player. But uh Ouch. That's the plan. Essentially, we're gonna try and get as many things done pre-fix, and then post-fix, we're going to actually um, attempt to do extra, like a few extra things here and there. Now, what those extra things will be, not quite sure yet. But there will be extra things, they will be interesting, I hope, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy them. But uh, as for right now, we still have Ratchet and Clank to finish. So, once we finish this, we can go on to the next thing in the list. Oh god, I forgot that that was a thing you could do. Take my back! <laughs> um, yeah, until, until we can fix the uh, issue, we're going to try to not necessarily avoid streaming, but kind of do it a little bit less. And then once it's fixed, we'll go back to our regular streaming schedule of whenever I can get it done. Because as you guys are kind of abundantly aware, no real schedule in this one. Because uh, 
there may be days where, in as of right now, there there may be days where like I just can't because the either connection's not good or whatever my reason may be at the time. Like it's usually technical issues, but sometimes I just have some other reason. Just depends. Now that I'm very much so about to die, I'm a little bit more uh, aiming. I'm aiming. <laughs> but yeah, that's essentially the plan. We're going to try and do as much stuff as we can until the fix, and then once the fix happens, we'll uh, actually get back down to business. But till then, this is the business we have and we will take care of it tenfold. By that I mean I'm going to try and ignore as many enemies as I can. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, shiitake mushrooms. Okay, well I didn't land on anything deadly, but... I think I cleared it. If not, pretty close to it. Now here's the part that's kind of an issue. Right. So, I don't know, um, so for, uh, with, with the issue in mind, I would like to know if there's anything that you guys particularly might want to see when I can actually return to my streaming pseudo-schedule. This is probably my favorite thing ever. They're a biker gang and they do like bake sales and they make gloves and they're very they're very effeminate borderline like gay bikers. Like they Play it off as if, yeah, we're totally, it's just a family thing. We're family, I'm kind. They're Mr. Mackey kind of family, I'm kind. <laughs> uh, makes me feel like a bit more of a dick than I am. Except for I don't care most of the time, so it's fine. But, uh, yeah, that's, I don't know what else to talk about in these anymore, because I usually cover everything I want in the intro. I blow my layer a little quick, but uh, there is one other thing I wanted to mention that doesn't, it, the, I don't know if it'll have relevance to the channel yet, but it might, depends on, and by on, I mean you guys, <laughs> if you guys want, there will be Overwatch stuff in the future, might even have some days where I play with some of the, uh, some of the viewers slash subscribers or whatever. That could be arranged. 
I build a Buddha. Well, aren't you just a hacky, slashy, but massy son of a biscuit? Though, there is one thing that I will almost indefinitely be doing, but it's not going to be for a few months. I am going to start making a backlog, by the way, guys. Not necessarily um, because I ha like have a really big like list of games that I want to... That, that I have, like, people who are like, Oh, man, you need to play this, but I know that there's... A uh, few people who wanted to see Kingdom Hearts, so I'll have to go back and do that. Ah, it's a death. Uh, and then I'm going to do in... At the end of the year, I will be doing a... I might be doing some more Crash stuff, but it'll be using the remastered version of the game because that is coming out. Probably by the end of the year, and if so, you know, skills gonna cover that shit like a beast. And by a beast, I mean I'm going to play the hell out of it, and it's not even gonna make sense. I'm not actually good at platformers. What do you think this is? Something universal? Who do you think I am, Johnny from SGB Brain Scratch Coms, or some comedy Johnny? He's he's a good play. He plays platformers. He's a platformer guy. No. I am not. I am a pew pew button mashy killy kill kind of murder scenario. And yeah, I just I, I did just make up a word murder scenario. It's like a mercenary, but I only kill things. But um, that's just what I do. It's my job as the Berserker of Dark Light Striker, even though that has no meaning on this channel because fuck FF14. But, um, yeah, if, if you guys want to see more Overwatch stuff, let me know. As for the news that I have, uh, there was a tweet released, I think today, of, uh, Terry Crews going, the power guy from the Old Spice commercials. There was a video, or a, a tweet today, or yesterday, like within the last few days, uh, where he went to Blizzard HQ. And let's be honest right quick, for just a one second. First of all, most people don't just go to Blizzard HQ because they want to go say hi. They might, but they probably don't, especially when everybody's working. And, um, the other thing is he also, he's a busy guy. He's, he does work. He probably still has a pretty good job. He's an actor and a very intimidating, large, <laughs> black dude. But, oh no. No! 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 Damn it, I did it again. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he seems like a pretty cool guy. And the, uh, interview didn't quite say it particularly, but it kind of hinted that he might be the voice of the next Overwatch character, Doomfist, which sounds edgy as sin, and I'm talking like edgy the hedgy levels of edgy as sin, but, um, I think that would be cool be postly because I think he's pretty awesome, but, you know, opinions, I have them. I don't let them be known very often, but they exist. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's something I thought it would be nice to point out in case there's, like, certain people who are like, uh, I don't know about Overwatch, man, that, that game, that game doesn't look that, all that, uh, that interesting. Yeah, but what about Terry Crews voicing a character who punches people? He is the power guy, after all. He has some power. It's not where I meant to throw all of those, but I did mean to throw a few of them that way. And by all of them, I mean I didn't mean to throw them all at, like, normal spooky mooks. I meant to, like, actually go ham and murder a bunch of 
Actually, I meant to murder this ship, to be honest, but I failed, obviously. But, yeah, this is... X level of our... Uh, gravity bomb, the mini nuke, which <laughs> is awesome. And we are almost to the point where we can buy the blitz gun, which means we're probably going to be doing things until we can get the blitz gun because that gun is amazing and I love it. And it usually loves me unless it doesn't. Because it's it's a shotgun. Who doesn't love a good shotgun? Be honest, comment section, you know you do. You know that you guys are just as insane as I am sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. You see? Um, uh, back to, actually, back to the Diablo note. If you guys want input on my Diablo character when I do a Let's Play of Diablo 3, because I don't have two and I don't have one, but uh, if you guys would like to see a Let's Play of Diablo 3, normal or hardcore, with a character, uh, like a base of your choice, because it will be a viewer's choice base, like what base, what starting, what cl well, not what starting class, it's not Dark Souls, what class I start as, and if you guys decide you want to do that, there is a, what's it called? 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 Um, I don't remember. There's a thing on the Nico Skilla Facebook page, a poll, even. Man, great at English. I am not even like a non-native English speaker. I'm just that good. But uh, there is a poll on the Nico Skilla Facebook page, which I can put the link to that in the description. And if you guys choose, you can choose if I do it in the first place, what character I play as, and whether it's on normal or hardcore. <sighs> and if it is on hardcore and I do die, hardcore is the mode where if you die, you are dead, you restart. That would mean it is technically the closest thing I can or will do to a Nuzlocke. Partially, well, until I actually learn how to get good at Pokemon. Then I might actually do a real Nuzlocke. Maybe. Don't, don't, don't you have ten people in the comments like, yeah, you should totally do a Nuzlocke before you do D3. Because I won't. I'm not good enough at Nuz, nor am I good enough at locking to do a Pokemon Nuzlocke. But, I am totally willing to promote another random channel aside from Johnny and Brain Scratch and SGB. Even though SGB is doing a dead, did, doing, whatever. They have a Deadpool run, which is fantastic because Deadpool is great. And, I don't know, Johnny, Matt, and Elliot are pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know them, but I'm sure they're cool guys. I'm sure they're nice, probably. They seem nice. They seem like they wouldn't be dicks, usually. But, uh... Another pro thoughtless promotion, Game Explain was uh, today streaming a Legend of Zelda, I think Ocarina of Time randomization, and if you guys don't know what that is, a randomization is so cool. A randomization is essentially, whoopsies, a randomization is essentially... You go in through a game. Let's say it's let, let's say you when you were a kid you played the hell out of Pokemon Fire Red. Let's use Fire Red as our example. You played Fire Red so much that it is engraved into your memory. But you want to play it again. You just you don't want to do the same old shenanigans and just repeat the game. So you want something new. What do you get that's new? You randomize that shit. What do you find in the grass? I don't know. What do you what do you get as a starter? You can choose just about every aspect of the game down to what I start with, 
what I can find randomly in the wild. It makes it very much so kind of feel like a different game in some aspects. And that's actually really good, especially if you've, again, played the ever-loving hell out of it. Because some people might have played the game so much that it, the normal game just isn't really entertaining anymore. And you don't want your game to die, especially if it's one of your favorite ones. So, what do you do? Instead of just doing the same shenanigans that you did the first x -tillion times, you can do something different. You can randomize it. Start Pokemon Fire Red with a Dratini. Or, you want to do a super hardcore run? Start it with a Magikarp. <laughs> Or, like, something like that. Something really crazy and kind of out of the ordinary. Like, you can do that with a randomizer. But he did that for the Legend of Zelda, I believe, Ocarina of Time. Which means... He doesn't have a chance in the, in, in the run to where he can get locked. Like, he can have a dead save. But... It does change the game around enough to where you might not have something in one area that normally you might have or what have you so there's a few different there's a few things that are good about it that are kind of cool 30 enemies in 30 seconds which means much as I like this I need to stop thinking about getting hit and just kill I think I did it, but I don't know for sure. Congratulations, the B2 Brawler! 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 Alright, so we're going to do the last one, which is going to be the B2 Brawler, and then we will stop for a little bit. We might come back if you guys want. But first, the B2 Brawler! 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 He's kind of an a-hole. You know, as you can tell with the fact that he's just this tall... Like, AT, AT, son of a bitch, just hanging out with his brain out. Damn it. Brawler! But, uh... There's there's a few things about the B2 Brawler and Chain Blade that are actually very interesting. But yeah, um, back to the Game Explain thing. They did a randomization, and randomizations make some of your old favorite games interesting again. They might make it so that, oh, I've played The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time so many times that I literally remember the Ganon's Palace or whatever off by heart. So instead of reliving exactly that thing that you actually remember off by heart you change it up a bit you instead of doing the exact same thing for the gajillionth time maybe you don't maybe you don't start in the same place or maybe there's something very specific about the dungeon that's slightly different and uh oh god i almost died <laughs> nanotech boost yee Anyway, there might be something different and new that actually makes it interesting and actually cool again. And you can do that as many times as you want. Change around certain things here and there. Just showing this off. Sorry for the ex super extended video. But again, not 100% on when the video can be uploaded. So I'm trying to make it actually worth the watch. So if you don't like if you don't like the length of the video, you think the Ratchet and Clank stuff needs to be a little bit shorter or a lot shorter even, then uh, let me know in the comments section. As for this planet, that is, as they say, that. We're watching this though because it's funny. This will happen to you. Boop. Nothing happened.
I mean, er, this will happen to you. Bzz. Bye. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and like. And next time, we will go and see our one of our new planets and get the goodies there. As always, leave a comment if you've got something to say. Leave a like. And, uh, discuss things in the comments section. Maybe we can have a chat between me and all of you, and it'll be great. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.